Welcome to Play to Win, where we play to win. I'm Dylan. And I'm Cam. This week, we're joined by CEDH coach Memo for some CEDH. You can find me on Discord or on Twitter as well, just at Memo. I'm a CEDH coach and tournament player. I'm mostly known for, well, playing the chiller. If you want to step up your game, don't hesitate to reach out. This video is brought to you in part by Dragon Shield. Use code play to win 5 at the affiliate link down below for 5% off to help support the show. And check us out on Patreon to get some extra cool perks there and help support us directly. So we have Nate on Tibbet. Cam's on, Curie's all about that base, about that base, 12 power. I'm playing Atraxa, and Memo's on Najila Cabal. Speed needs no translation. What does that mean? I'll keep my six. I will also keep six. I have my second seven, I'm ready to go. What do I do with my life total tracker? Any pregames? Yes. If I'm going fourth, right, I'm gonna exile this chain of vapor. All right, draw for turn. Play a Tundra as my land for turn. I'll cast Chromox, imprinting, course of negation, talisman of progress, and two minimal. Nice, that's turn two, two yep. Okay. Holy cow. We're all aware. Pass turn. Draw a card. I will play an island. I'll cast a crypt. I get a lotus petal. Turn one, one ring, folks. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> All right. That's Nick. disgusting. I have protection. That'll come up. I'll pass. I will draw a card. Play Polluted Delta. <laughs> crack it. 39. Find Underground Sea. And I will cast Mystic Amora. I'm going to draw a card. All right. I'll pass on it. Excellent. Mystic Amora is in play. I'll pass turn. Draw a card. Exotic Orchard. And cast an Arcane Signet. Trigger Mystic Amora. Yeah, you can draw. I would also like to cast an Imperial Seal. Because Wolf. there's no Ragavan in sight. Trigger Mystic Amora. Yeah, you got it. Oh, Memo. Welcome to the show. I'm going to cast <laughs> Mental Misstep. <laughs> Yep, you got it. Go to 37. I pass. Untap, upkeep, I will draw. Underground, river, and I'll cast it. I'm gonna go 39. Let's vote, I'm voting treasure. It's clues, I guess, right? I think it's clues. Yeah, I think it's clues. So three clues, and I'll pass. I have a lot of triggers. Here's my mana crypt one first. Odds, I take damage. Uh, it was a one. And I go to 36. Draw for turn, play an island. So let's get a little bit more information. I'm gonna draw two cards. I'll pay three mana and lose two life to cast a Phyrexian Metamorph, go to 34. I think I'm gonna say Tibbets. Really good. <laughs> Disgusting. I will name Treasure. Clue. Yeah. Two. I'll go Clue. I'm only going to vote once. Only one time. Smart decision. <laughs> <laughs> I will pass the turn. What an awesome start for this Curie deck. Turn one, one ring. Turn two, someone else's awesome six mana commander. I'm loving this. I'm feeling very behind. I thought my Mystic Marora hand was going to be looking good. So far, it is not matching up to what the other players are doing. Untap, upkeep. I'll pay for the fish. Draw for turn. Cast mana crypt. Tap it, floating one, cast mana vault. Six in hand, I'll pass my turn. Untap, throw a card. I think I'm supposed to play this Tarnished Citadel and just cast Nachita here. I will say go. I do turn, I'll sack a clue to draw. Untap, upkeep, I will lose a life, 38, and I'll draw a card. Play my land for turn, play for Monolith. Trigger Mystic Remora. May draw a card. Go to combat, Dylan, six in the area. I got nothing to say about this. I'm gonna take six and go to 31. I go two treasures. I'm gonna vote once and I'm gonna say clue. I still think it's Clue. Let's go with Clue one more round. Yeah. All right, I have five clues, three treasures. <laughs> Just gonna pass the turn. On your end step, I'm gonna crack a treasure and pay a blue mana and cast a fairy mastermind. Let's go to my turn. It's trigger time. Mana crypt. Odds I take damage. Nice. We got a four. 32 is my new life total after I take my one ring damage. Draw a card. Let's draw three cards. I'll play an island. Move to combat. Nate probably doesn't play ad nauseum. Memo Don't. probably plays ad nauseum. Memo probably plays ad nauseum. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I, uh, I, uh, maybe. <laughs> All right, Memo, I'm going to come at you with the Tibbet. That makes sense. Yeah, I'll take 634. Vote treasure. I think uh, I'll vote clue. Get clues. Yep. I will cast a Rings of Bright Earth. Mystic Remore Trigger. You can draw an Aetherflex Reservoir. Ooh. Mystic Remore Trigger. You can draw Fairy Mastermind Trigger. Yep. yep. Crack a clue, floating one. Draw a card. I'm going to crack one more. Go ahead, draw another card. Fairy Mastermind Trigger. Get a card. All right, you're good. Go ahead. Cool. I'm just going to pass, discard a card, the Mycosynth Garden. So I don't think my sequencing was that great here. I think it's kind of weird to have my last spell be this Aetherflex Reservoir, and now there's kind of like a target on me, too. I already have a bunch of things that are hurting my life total on my upkeep, and now I feel like I gave myself a reason for Tivit and Najila to come at me. Yeah, between Aetherflex Reservoir and the One Ring, we are attacking you. Go to me. Untap. Upkeep. Got a couple triggers. I'll roll for Mana Crypt. Odds, I take damage. And odds, I'll take three. Go to 28. Mystic Remora, I will pay for it with the Mana Crypt. Draw for turn. Okay, still haven't found that second land, but here's four mana. I'll cast the one ring. Oh my God, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I pass. Yep, I got nothing. I'll cast a Force of Negation, <laughs> pitching this windfall. I have a Mystic Remora trigger. You can have it. I gain a life. And I draw a card because you just drew your second card for The value. Yeah. You counter it. Exile 
dialed it into oblivion. I keep on keeping these one land mystical in my hands. They're kind of proven to be not as good as they feel in my head. You did find me a land. So here's a watery grave shocked in. So watch out world, because next <laughs> I have a death right shaman. Eight cards in hand, cast this jeweled lotus. Pass turn. I will untap and draw a good card. Play an underground sea. Move to combat Najila at Nate. Trigger Najila. I will make a warrior that goes to camp. No blocks. No blocks. Go to second main. I will do nothing in my second main and say go. End of your turn, I'll take one sack of clue. Do you draw a card? Yep. Untap. I will lose one life from Man of all. Okay. I'll play my land for turn. I'll cast the Soul Ring. Trigger Mr. Gamora. You may draw. Move to combat. Memo, six coming your way. Okay, before you swing at me, he has a ring, right? And he's already at 32. Eighth so of Flux Reservoir. Oh, yeah, yeah. I forgot about the Eighth of Flux. Yeah, Cameron. Thank you, Memo. Six at you, Cameron. Yeah, you see, I shouldn't have made that a reason to attack me. Memo is still an Ad Nauseam player and has Ad Nauseam mana up. Yeah, that was just bad sequencing on my part. I go down to 26. I'm gonna vote two treasures. Come on, Clue. Yeah. Yeah, you get more clues. Pass. Go to my turn. I'm gonna do my ring damage first. And now here's Crypt, odds I take damage. Nice. Staying at 23. I will draw for my turn. Cast a soul ring. Trigger Aetherflux Reservoir, gain a life. Draw a card from Mystic Remora. You can have a card from Mystic Remora. <laughs> Whatever I do, Mystic like Remora. Dylan has been drawing a bunch of cards silently and he has Lotus in play, right? So I will draw four cards and with this ability on the stack, I will pay two to copy it with Rings of Bright Hearth. So the copy of the ability will resolve first because of how they stack. So the copy is what puts the fourth counter on it, four cards. And then the original ability will go on putting a fifth counter. So let me draw five. Cloud key, gaining two life. Mystic Remora. You can draw. When you draw, I get a fairy mastermind trigger. <laughs> I'll draw a card. I'm going to crack my verdant catacombs. Get an underground suit. I'm going to cast Dark Ritual. Trigger Mystic Remora. Oh. Yep, go ahead, draw a card. I'm going to cast Mystical Tutor. Trigger Mystic Remora. Yep. Vampiric Tutor. That's going on top. I drew a card. Mastermind trigger for that draw? Vamp Tutor. Mr. Gamora trigger. Yep, I want to get that card. Use my last two black act to draw that card. I'll pass on the <laughs> on Cloud Key. Cloud Key ETB, I'm going to say Artifact. Makes sense. I'm going to move to combat. Memo, I think I'm coming at you for another six in the air. Before damage, I'm going to do something. Take one, go to 29. I will channel Touch of the Spirit Realm, Ooh. targeting Aether Flux. I'm okay with it. Uh, I'll still take the six. I will vote treasure clue i think you have to power through dylan's turn so i'll give you a treasure clue so then i'll end up with three treasures and eight clues voltaic key is a free spell i will cast it trigger mr gamora you can have it i get a land for turn i will play minamo school at water's edge oh my god so what that's draw 12 cards but he's bottlenecked on mana i'm not sure if, if he, like he can do that but then he spent half his mana and if those cards don't win on the spot i don't know i'm talking to control dylan if like you're asking me if dylan, i yeah. think that my turn is a window i I do not think that. Oh, interesting. Um, okay. So, <laughs> because I don't think that I can win this turn, even if I draw so much, I need Dylan to deploy things or at least let this Mystic Remora go away before I'm comfortable doing anything. So I think I'm moving to my end step and sculpting a hand. This comes back. Getting rid of all of these lands. Look at all these lands and a Serpentine Ambush. Go to my turn. Untap, upkeep. Mr. Gamora is going to die. A mana Crypt, odds I'll take damage. It's a one, that is an odd number. I'll take three, go to 23. When I draw, I will lose one to the mana vault. Cameron, I'm gonna exile basic island out of your graveyard for a green mana. Cool. Eight, Jewel Lotus. I will cast a Traxa with one colorless mana floating. I pass. Me too. Pass. Trigger. 10, wow, lots of good cards. Oh, we found the ritual. Sorcery, Endurance. I'm gonna take the Command Tower, I'll take Silence, and that's it. Command Tower is my land for turn. Cast Lotus Petal. Go to my cleanup. Yeah, I think I'm, it's correct to do this. I'll cast the Value Add Nodes with oh. 28 life into 15 counter spells. I have no counter spells in my hand at this point. I also have no counter spells in my hand at this point. Isn't that crazy? Like you'll see my hand throughout the game. There are, is not a single counter spell in my hand right now. Oh. Nate, I have no response. What? Okay. Yes, Kev. I have, I, have, I have three cards. All right, I'm gonna untap the one ring with Voltaic Key. I'm gonna draw six cards. Surely the Modo Blue deck will not find a counter spell for an instant, right? Surely. Well, sure as the sunrise, we haven't found it yet. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck it, we ball. Activate Manamo, untapping the one ring. I will draw seven cards. You have two turns left who gave you those treasures <laughs> whose idea was this fuck <laughs> it's probably not even winning like i can't reach there's an endurance so i guess that's true all of your win conditions but you're just gonna get so much interaction 
Dylan has a silence in his hand. Yes, if 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 this is like threatening, Dylan just has to silence me, right? I really don't want to do that. <laughs> there, I know you don't want to, there's, but I'm there's going a, to. There's a truck, sir. There's like 19. Oh, my camera. <laughs> <laughs> there are like 20 damage on boards. I don't know. It's, it's weird. It is weird. I'm going to pass priority. I, I have so many cards in my hand. I'm passing. You can have this. I have nothing that responds to Adnaz. I should have phrased the silence thing a little bit different. I think I phrased it in a way that Cam made him think, which was true, that I was trying to use the silence on his turn. So he's trying to get me to use it. But what I should be talking about is if this ad nauseum resolves, he's going to draw a bunch of counter spells and my silence is not going to be as good then. I didn't say that and I should have. We yeah. should have communicated a lot more in this moment about what should have been happening. Memo is doing a great job of politicking this game, which is a super crucial part of CDH. If you don't win, Nate and I can hit you with Tivits for a lot of damage. Yes. So. <laughs> yeah. Twenty-four. I'll stop. I'll go cool. down to four life. Couple things of note that we saw: a mental misstep for the silence, final fortune, which is really good against silences, and a whole bunch of other interactions, like force of will. Okay, back to the video. You can move to discard. I'm gonna discard a lot of questionable cards: Thassa's Oracle, <laughs> Eternal Witness, Sword Soul Power Share, Finale of Devastation, Teferi, Esper Sentinel, Exotic Orchard, Vampiric Tutor, Eldritch Evolution, Janeth Magistrate. I know I'm buttoning a lot right here. Just getting rid of the swords does seem sketchy. I only have two mana available. Just because I'm getting rid of the swords, I still can interact four times right now. All right. In All right. my upkeep, I would like to cast Worldly Tutor. This Tarnish Tutor looks terrible. Worldly Tutor, Nate, I'll remind you that I have a silence that Cam knows about and is trying to make me blow it here. But if I do that, I, I'm not going to be able to stop Cam. Yeah, I'm going to exile Najila. Oh, that gives me three life. Hell yeah. Right. Well, that That's helps, bad. but that doesn't stop Thassa's Oracle Demonic Consultation. There is no consult, no Oracle, no Tainted Tech Flipped. Oh, yeah, that's true. We didn't see any of those. Yeah. All good? Yeah, I'm good. There is a card that's pretty good in CDH. Let's put Toxic Extortionist on top. Yeah, this is a lot of manas. I would like to go to draw step. Nate, I'll talk to you again. I, should I blow the silence now? And then we... Don't. I, I have a misstep. I, I flipped the misstep. I'd rather like have yeah. the silence for later. Right. Yeah, it's not going to do anything anyway, I guess. Well, that works no. great for you if he missteps the silence. Why is that great? We, we got to get this interaction out of, out of his hand. At this point now, we know that he has to go for a win or else he's just dead on board. We kind of have to stop whatever's coming out. If he tries to misstep the silence, we have other ways that we can interact. Do we? That's what Stillen asking, right? He has two counter spells in hand. Wasting your silence on yeah. one of them. I think I want to wait until we see a final, like yeah. an extra turn spell, like get him on the extra turn and then try to interact there. I guess that's true because in response to silence, he can extra turn right now anyway. Right. Yeah, and then no that would be a bad situation for us very much. Okay, so I can draw. I will play a command tower. Cut the docks No. I'm passing two. Jeez, I'm going to regret this if I don't care. Yeah, I pass. ETV. I'm giving him 18. <laughs> is the difference between 15 and 18 really that different? Can have, I'm 10. not cracking the treasures to okay. crack a clue. I'm not doing so, that. He can cast his whole deck for 15 mana, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> okay, so I have like 30 <laughs> treasures. Let's fucking go. We have surely done something wrong to get to this point. Cast a Mystic Remora. Cast a Mox Diamond discarding a Wooded Foothills. Jeweled Lotus. Recast Najila. I will cast a Summoner's Pict. Mm -hmm. No response. Yep, still good with me. Cutsell. Cast Cutsell. Go down to 28 treasures. Nate, is your last chance, Nate? You got something? Yeah, I think it really matters. Right? I think if you got something, now's the time you got it. Just try. Yeah, I don't know. This, is, yeah. this is we're giving him a game chance to try yeah. something. You gotta go. <laughs> we gotta work together. I don't get lost, Nachila. I think I'm fine with this, right? I, uh, yeah, I don't force this. You do have a fish trigger. You can draw a card. I will draw a card. Second card for turn, so I get a fairy mastermind. Yep. Two map tokens. Cam, you Let's... got anything on the cutsel? I'm passing on the cutsel. I'm gonna cast mind break trap targeting cutsel. I really wish this mind break trap would have been live for the ad or the Dockside Extortionist. If it was, I definitely would have done that at that point, but there were no, there wasn't a third spell at that time, so it wasn't free. Now it feels like it's bad now, but it has to be done. Like I can't, we can't let the cutsel stay. Yeah, you can't not. It is probably right. Cast my own mind prick trip paying for treasures. I'll target your mind brick trip. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do anything about that. Y'all pass. I'll put Pact of Negation on the mind brick trap that Memo was casting. I gain a life. So 
Why didn't you pack the agnostic? Because I'm trying to get you to use this silence. And Memo <laughs> said that it's a it's a value ad nauseum at 28 life. I don't think why any are we of listening us to Memo. Why why are we right? I don't think any of us expected him to actually win the game off of this ad nauseum. There's two tivots in play that can still beat him down post ad nauseum. So he's really got to find like the right things to get here. And again, I want you to use that silence so that I can win the game. Yeah. So I think I'm a little bit of a greedy McGee, and this is what happens. <laughs> I also think I was being a little bit greedy waiting on that silence. I probably should have done it in the upkeep. I will let your pact resolve hardcast force of will targeting your mind break trap. I'm gonna demonic consultation. Can I draw? You can. Is this your last card in hand? That is. Yeah, I pass on consult. Mind break trap. Makes sense. Three, four, five. Come on. Six. There we go. Oh, wow. There, there we go. I will mind break trap. What are your targets? Everything that is mental. I have a fish trigger. Yep. This happens. Trap fizzles then. The stack is empty. Exile a simian spirit guide to cast a soul ring. Cast a mana vault. I will float one colorless. Demonic consultation. Going down to 18 treasures. I have nothing to say. Let's risk it. Maybe I'll hit in the Revy. Pass. All right, I'll name the Revy. Oh, there we it go. Is. Put the Revy into my hand. Four colorless and three treasures. Go down to 15 to recast Najila. I'm going to cast silence in response to the Najila. And you have the misstep anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go to five. <laughs> Crack Lotus Petal for a green. Cast Veil of Summer. I have two fish triggers now. I responded to the other. Okay, can I draw? Yes. Oh, oh, oh. oh I'm so sorry, bro. Oh, damn. God damn. <laughs> That's great, yeah. Yep, damn. I got nothing. Five copies each. <laughs> yeah, so this is the exact reason for that. Had I silence, he missteps back. I Veil of Summer to protect. In the upkeep, yes, there still is like a force of will, but Flusterstorm is much more difficult to interact with. Maybe you would have packed him negation somewhere in that area where he wasn't drawing cards and had basically infinite treasures to help pay for everything that he wants to. This all would have been before that Mystic Remora, right? So he never yeah. would have had this chance to find this extra spell looking back it's like obvious that that's what i should have done but at the moment like i was like i didn't think that he would be able to win from there i think i was just afraid of you being able to win i didn't want to waste anything on memo and then have you just be able to untap and win trigger fish yeah the last one yeah okay yeah and agila resolves i'll cast Derevi going down to 11. I'm done. No response to Derevi. Untap my. Can I do something in response to that ETB yes. trigger real yes, quick? Yes, you can. Pay a blue mana and cast a March of Swirling Mitts, pitching this Ethereum Sculptor from my hand so that I can target both Najila and Derevi. Trigger Mystic Remora. Can't pay. I will draw a card. Yeah, I'm only drawing gas here. Okay, I'll show you the red blast I drew going down to 10. I can't do anything about the red blast, so that will resolve. I have one more treasure here. Oh man, I can't believe we still can't do much. I should have gained two life. I will pass. The Revy ETB resolves, untapping my gemstone. Cast Samut. Going on to eight treasures. Then I would like to move to combat. I'd like to do something during your beginning of combat step. That makes sense. I would like to crack this treasure to cast a chain of vapor, targeting your Najila, gaining three life. I have a fish trigger. Draw. I found a tainted pack. Oh, there's a spot. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, well, there yes. you go. Yeah, yeah. Works. Stop here. I will cast spot for free, targeting yes. your chain of vapor. Yeah, cool. What would you like to uh, redirect it to? Spot resolves. I will redirect to my dark side. Yeah, I can't do anything about that. I will copy. I will stack a land, bounce, soul ring. Do you want to copy it? Nope, do, you no, want to, do you want to bounce the Atraxis? Go no, 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 no. I'm not giving the chain of vapor back. Nope. <laughs> nice try, though. Declare attackers. I will swing with Samut and one warrior at unit. I have two Najila triggers, so I will make two more warriors, which enter the battlefield this turn, showing them separately. So you will take a total of five damage. I will have three Samut triggers and four Derevi triggers. So I will draw three cards. I will untap four of my lands. So after damage and before second main, I will activate Najila. I will present a loop of swinging drawing and killing. I also have a snap. At some point, I will have enough warrior tokens that can attack, and then I will just bounce the summit so I don't deck myself. And I will also use one trigger to downtap the Atraxa and the Fairy Mastermind, of course. I'm dead. We're dead? Perfect. Yes. Yeah, we're mega we dead. dead. Yeah. Mega dead. Nice. Wow. Good game. Good game. I didn't good have game. my commander. Brenda Bosch yeah. was the one in my hand. Very good. Nice win. How do we nice. let that ad nauseum win? Who'd have thought Cam and I drew 20 cards that game and still could not stop Memo from winning with an ad nauseum? It's even funnier now that I look back and said, oh, I shouldn't have played 
that Aetherflux Reservoir, I should have cast my commander, and yeah. that <laughs> fucking fierce guardianship really bit me in the ass. Yeah, Najila is hyper efficient and can really make the most out of its mana. Memo is a great pilot and politics super well right there. Great win overall. We're not gonna let Ad Nauseam resolve anymore. Are no, we? no, that, we're that not. card is always getting countered, Counter no matter it. how, no matter. We did it, so you don't have to. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to support us directly, you can do so on Patreon, like we're $100 patrons. Caleb Britchie, Caleb Britchie, Zach Hartley, Justin Heck, Kajo, Alex, Sean in the Ice, Mark Civillo, Soul Calacura, Storm again, Luke Cook, Demon of Raspberries, Uncle Butts, Nick Foles, Goat 09, Kawaja, A. Hamid, Lauren Connell, Baby, G Bus. If you want to pick up any of our merch, you can do that at playtowinmtg.com. Thank you so much, Dragon Shield, for supporting the show. Make sure you use our affiliate link, Play to Win 5 to get 5% off your order with our affiliate link. Follow us on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram for more content. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Jacob Ola, Luther, Luca, Press Sound, Big Mike, Nicholas Bowler, Reactive, Tyler Watson, Brian Barrington, Zachary Coulson, Tyler H, Tyler X, The Tree, Malcraft, Trilogy, Trilogy, Driving Crooner, Tavaha, Mace the Ace, Dalton Poti, Hobo Ghost, Justin, Manzoa, Pedro, Jacob Depp, Michael Below, Jan Wildfang, Thomas Bueno, and David Nelson. I think we got like 50% of them right this time. That was good, yeah. Thanks, yeah. Thanks, thanks for that.